Hi there! I am Yanni V. Sumagaysay, and I will be your teacher for today's lesson. Our topic for today is from TLE ICT Computer System Servicing for Grade 9. At the end of this lesson, the learners should be able to identify and classify tools used in repairing a computer. Select the best tool for a certain task and value the importance of following proper use of tools. Are you excited? So am I. So let's get started. Let's take a look at the picture. What do you see? So we can see a man who is very frustrated because his computer has just broken down. If this man is going to fix this computer, which tool should be used? Well, there are a lot of tools which can be used in fixing a computer. That's why it is very important to know which is the correct one. Have you tried fixing a computer? If you have, then you have to remember to select the best tool for each task and to use that particular tool for the purpose for which it was designed. Today's lesson is all about the classification of hardware tools. Hardware tools are classified into four. We have the electrostatic discharge or ESD tools, the hand tools, the cleaning tools, and the diagnostic tools. So let's find out how these tools are classified. Static electricity is easily generated by friction on carpets, tile flooring, clothing, hair, fabric, and others. The friction of moving air alone will charge suspended particles and cause the buildup of static electrical charges on people and objects in the environment. Grounded anti-static mat used with the anti-static wrist strap will provide the most basic means for the controlled discharge of electrostatic electricity. That's why we have our electrostatic discharge tools. Anti-static wrist strap. This tool is used to prevent ESD damage to the computer equipment. Anti-static mat. This tool is used to stand on or place hardware on to prevent static electricity from building up. A hand tool is a device for performing work on a material or a physical system using only hands. The hand tools can be manually used employing force or electrically powered using electrical current. Flathead screwdriver. This tool is used to loosen or tighten slotted screws. Phillips head screwdriver. This tool is used to loosen or tighten cross-head screws. Torx screwdriver. This tool is used to loosen or tighten screws that have a star-like depression on top. Hex driver. It is sometimes called a knot driver because it is used to tighten knots. 
needle nose plier. It is used to hold small parts. Wire cutter. It is used to strip and cut wires. Tweezer. This is used to manipulate small parts. Part retriever. It is used to retrieve parts that are too small for your hand to fit. Flashlight. This is used to light up areas that you cannot see well. Having the appropriate cleaning tools is essential when maintaining or repairing computers. Using these tools ensures that computer components are not damaged during cleaning. Lint-free cloth. It is used to clean different computer components without scratching and leaving debris. Compressed air. It is used to blow away dust and debris. Parts organizer. It is used to hold screws, jumpers, fasteners, and other small parts and prevents them from getting mixed together. Computers are easier to use and more dependable with each new generation of hardware and operating system update, but that doesn't mean that they're problem-free. So we need our diagnostic tools. Multimeter this tool is used to test the integrity of circuits and the quality of electricity and computer components. Loop back adapter. This tool is used to test the functionality of computer ports. All right, so let's have a short recap of the different hardware tools that we were able to classify. Hardware tools are classified into four. And these are electrostatic discharge tools, hand tools, cleaning tools, and diagnostic tools. For the electrostatic discharge tools, we have the anti-static mat and the anti-static wrist strap. For the hand tools, we have the flat head screwdriver, the Phillips head screwdriver, our Torx screwdriver, the hex driver, the needle nose plier, the wire cutter, the tweezers, the part retriever, and the flashlight. For our cleaning tools, we have our lint-free cloth, compressed air, cable ties, and parts organizer. For our diagnostic tools, we have the multimeter and the loop-back adapter. Let's have a short activity to check if you remembered the tools that we were able to discuss. For this activity, you will be given two minutes to match the tool on the left to its correct description on the right.
I hope all your answers are correct. And never forget to value the importance of following proper use of tools. Now let's check if you already know how to classify the different tools used in repairing a computer. For part 1, you are given 3 minutes to classify each tool according to their use. So this is the right classification for each tool. I hope you got your answers correctly. For part 2, you have a minute to answer this question. If you are tasked to assemble a computer system, which group of tools are you going to use?
the correct answer, hand tools. I hope you got it right. Alright, you did a great job and that ends our session. I hope you learned from me today and I hope to see you again next time. Thank you for watching. Bye!